HFC Challenge held its fifth round at the Wedi Arena in Ain Sukhna. Participated in the race, many car race champions on top of the list, Mata Zawatik. event uh, for this season, it's uh, round five in the EGFC challenge, uh, it's a very nice one, that's the final round which will decide the winners for the first four rounds in the year. Uh, I believe uh, I'll be um, out of the ten because I passed one of the events I did not attend because I was abroad, uh, I wasn't able to, to attend the event here, but I think uh, I'll be out of the top ten and that is uh, an honor for me. <laughs> The race was fierce, as it was a very difficult arena designed and set by the event organizer, Nader Al-Fayyot, the eldest racer in EGFC Challenge. EGFC Challenge بقى لها 8 سنين هي فكرتي الحقيقه ان احنا نعملها لان احنا كمتسابقين في مصر هنا عندنا مشكله ان احنا ما بناخدش دعم من اي جهه Egypt Speed Challenge has been held for over 8 years now it was my idea to organize such an event as racers we don't receive any support from any form neither from a club nor an association we are a group of amateurs who collect funds from each other and rent the arena and it's how we've been going on ever since بنروح الاتحاد ندفع او او النادي ندفع رسوم Throughout the race there were certain races that the audience expected for them to win due to their history in car racing and their great performance throughout the race Those races were Demir Bashir, Mota Zawatif, Heni Sharaf and Amin Aliwa الحمد لله ربنا وفقني النهارده في التراك عملت احسن تايم Today at the track I recorded my best timing All the credit goes to God and my team and my sponsor whom without I couldn't record my 1.15 second timing today. <laughs> At the end of the day, it was sealed with a ceremony where the prizes were given to the winners. From the winners of Egypt Speed Challenge, three important names from the motorsport world who are in first place, Haini Sharaf, who achieved highest score on five rounds throughout the year, in second place, Mata Zawatif, and Amina Lewa was awarded the winner of the fifth round. Welcome back, you're still watching Nile Cruise and uh, Cross Egypt Challenge is a series of endurance scooter uh, rallies aiming to promote Egyptian tourism. Uh, the series started in 2007 and the first challenge was a nine days ride from the shores of the Mediterranean Sea in the north of Egypt to the temple of Abu Simbel on the southern borders of Egypt with a total distance of over 1,700 kilometers. You've seen the report about uh, the uh, latest cross challenge. Uh, uh, across Egypt Challenge competition, and we have the winner, Hany Sharaf, is joining us. He's the winner of the Cross Egypt Challenges. Welcome to the show. Welcome to you. Welcome. Hello. Well, uh, let's see with um, start off with the 2013 edition of the Cross Egypt Speed Challenge. How has it been different than previous years? This time. Well, uh, motorsport industry now actually. Um, uh, been been in a, in a hill climb and uh, you know it, it, it actually the sport is actually got a little bit mature enough and um, lately we, 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 we had we had chance to race a little bit more we got the organizers are mature enough to go ahead and, and do a fully fully uh, um, what do you call it who are the organizers the organizers for the speed challenges yes 
Uh, we have we have a, lo a lot of them actually now. Okay. <laughs> this this is something good. Yeah. Uh, we have Nader Nader Khayot. Okay, so it's a group of it's it's, it's mainly a group of people. It's group of people. Nader Khayot is like one of the iconic. Uh, the, yeah, <laughs> iconic iconic figures here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, back in back in the days, you know, um, it started started off like it 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 was a challenge. Group of people. Everybody looks at it like looks down at it and. Um, Nobody actually, you know, give it the, the, the importance and nobody knows the marketing, you know, the value that you can actually come out from this sport. Um, now, now, I think, I think we, we, are, we are more so, so civilized and we are more, like, into the sport. We have a lot of spectators now. Um, we have a lot of fans. It's more popular now. Mo more popular and uh, people a little bit got used to it and they knew you know how that sport actually mm. can affect tourism, you know, affect everything, and how how it can actually get revenue on the sponsors. There is a lot of sponsors now, like you know, it wasn't it wasn't that you know. The we have a lot before. of skillful driver, but again, the challenge remains to be the same, uh, maybe for a decade now. Um, I remember when uh, when uh, when the uh, youth used to have uh, in Masagin the Eri. Yeah. And they used to gather, and uh, I, I believe Nader Khayat actually was one of the, uh, one of the beginners yeah, uh, yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. And they, they, they tend to have this challenge of practicing by themselves. They're building their skills and talents by themselves. And they don't have the sort of equipment and the sort of facilities to uh, have this, this as a sport, as a major sport in Egypt. Exactly, yeah. So it's the same, the same challenge, the same, same fact, thing, nothing's different. Same thing. It's like, you know, it's now actually more safe, more organized. You know, uh, people no know. No more in the area. Yeah, no more, no more. Yeah, uh, they they took a lot of tracks, you know, and then and the tracks like actually designed for this. Um, the tracks are safe. There's like a spectators area. There's a drivers area, and um, sometimes there's media, and all the time there's press coverage. Um, um, and and that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. And um, well, actually, uh, you go through a certain route don't you? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, if you can just tell us a little bit, is it throughout um, uh, Egypt? What are the main uh, well, actually spots and how many kilos? Lately, lately, we are racing on the tracks, mm -hmm. you know, on, on, a, on a full circuit. Oh, okay. Uh, that so it's only in one area? In one area, but... So it's several you know, laps on a certain circuit. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the rounds are, like, you know, all over the place. Yeah. One round will be, like, in um, uh, Sukhna, the other round will be in Sharm Sheikh. The other round will be whatever okay. you know. It's so it's the round. whole track is in one area at the time in a different. Yeah, spot. for the rounds, in one area, in one okay. spot. Yeah, and they actually choose like a, a pretty good spot, and the cart, you know, yeah, basically we do it on a cart, cart, carting track, or you know, parking lot, uh, something mm -hmm. like sealed, something yeah. like safe, something outside of you know, of the. Um, uh, population, we don't do anything dangerous, whatever. But it know. doesn't make it like a long rally. It's uh, it's like short short laps. Yeah, short laps. Yeah. Okay. So and and what you're saying is it is it like a continue continuous uh, um, a challenge that you do it in a place and then you move to another, which is another round, or is it every edition is played in a different place? No, actually, it's it's series of events, and it's like you know the championship will be like in six rounds. Uh, you go the first round, for example, like in Sukhna, the second round in here in Cairo, oh, the third so round yeah. would be in Sharm Sheikh, and the fourth round would whatever. And the points is based on timing? And, and the points will be based on your ranking. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, based yeah. on the speed? Or no, actually, the time is for the round. Like, oh, okay. I can go in, I can win the round, but still I didn't get the, the champion. Mm -hmm. yes. The championship is, a com uh, you know, it's, it's you just like accumulate the points mm -hmm. all over the rounds. Okay. You try to, at, you know, at your but best. But what happens if uh, two get the same, uh, eventually they get the same points, uh, the rank the same? That, that happened, actually. And they, uh, they do, like, some, some sort of a knockout, knockout round. Uh, oh, that that would be really interesting. So yeah. these two guys, for example, would, would have to race together. Yeah, you have to race together. And, and the winner of that race, of that no knockout race, he will, uh, will get the position or will get the, the title. And how was it? How was it for you to win this uh, series of uh, rounds? Uh, I worked very hard. Uh, I had a, like a full support from my sponsor. I had full support from my team, my team leader, my you know um, everybody. The garages that we went in, um, people like helped me a lot in building my racing car. Uh, I prepared it. I uh, I made I made you know something out of it. Like, 
really good. Well, if, if, if one uh, watching us and would be interested um, in joining such a speed uh, challenge, what, are th what is the criteria to be able to uh, participate in such a speed challenge? What anything. is it that uh, You can uh, participate any time. Able to come part of it? Well, as long as you have a valid driving license, mm -hmm. you can participate. Oh. And it doesn't, you know, there's no restrictions, no age restrictions. For example, my teammate, you know, my, my team leader actually, uh, he's 41 years old. You know, and don't you face any difficulties? What are the most uh, 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 the, the, the difficulties that you've actually faced, maybe you yourself? Uh, I cannot say difficulties. I can say there is like some obstacles that we have to overcome, and mm -hmm. that will be by the time. Uh, can you give us like an example? Like <laughs> okay, the cars here in Egypt is very expensive, mm -hmm. like the car itself, very expensive. The tuning that you can make.